afternoon. Happy Sunday to you all. I am Lutra FM coming back with a uh, another episode of the Fight Club Pro Save on TW Twenty Twenty, uh, where you were where you left us off last. We um, did our last. We did two shows in the last episode. The last show that we did equaled our record attendance. Um, that's Baxter, by the way. Sorry, there he is. Uh, yeah. Um, we equaled our record attendance, and uh, we did have a very good. We did a very good show. So hopefully, this episode we will continue that. So yeah, so I'll be back in a sec with the first part of the episode. Right, so we're back now. Um, just to give you a little bit of an update here, we're now we've got one. Sorry, one hundred forty-four thousand four hundred sixty-eight dollars, and we made eighteen and a half. Uh, just over eight and a half grand profit. So what we're gonna do, um, probably do this every month. We'll just keep up in the production a bit. So upgrading this will um, involve a fee of one thousand pounds. Once upgraded, your cost would be one thousand five hundred per month plus five hundred per show. So it's more than affordable. I think we can do that. So we're going semi pro with that live event experience. Um, it will cost us seven and a half grand per show um you employ a medium-sized live event crew mixing professional leaders with amateur helpers they work to ensure fans have so we'll we'll try it we can all downgrade it it is a bit expensive per show um broadcast quality we can upgrade that so that will cost us two thousand five hundred per show so our costs are going to go up by about eleven and a half grand per show but I feel like we can cover it because of the alliance and stuff like that, and it will help us get a TV deal, so that's all that matters, really. Um, and then music, I don't think we're that bothered about music, but we can just upgrade it as well to a local. So we're slightly improving on that. Um, but yeah, that's that's that one. Um, and I'm trying to think what else there was. I swear there's other things I need to talk to you about, but I can't think. Uh, we'll just go through the last show. So Kenny Williams defeated Dave Mastiff to retain the heavyweight title in the main event of the last show. And then Mark Andrews in the semi main event got the uh, had the match of the night against Morgan Webster. So we might redo that one, maybe uh, up the stakes a little bit and that. But yeah. Oh yeah, Nathan Cruz, who I was going to um, push hard on this show. He's unfortunately injured so he's he's injured for about 13 days so he'll come back next show but it is a bit of a bugger because he is so good that it does benefit our show when we have him so let's see let's hope that we this show here has no incidents and it will be a pretty straightforward show with no backstage incidents we're hoping fingers crossed because last episode there was quite a few that uh, upset a lot of people I'm also going to be sticking to what I'm saying. Um, wrestlers that don't get a 50 rating in ring, uh, other than Blue Kane, there'll be a few exceptions. Blue Kane being one of them, Big T Justice being uh, another one. But yeah, oh God, backstage instance, here we go. Oh my God, there's four. Right, Roy, Roy Knight has been antagonizing Spike Trivet to a fight. So. I'm going to get rid of Roy Knight because he's been in quite a few incidents now. It's going to upset the other Knights though. Um, but, you know, he's had he's been in quite a few incidents now. Um, Bubba Gum's been getting a lot of heat for the rest of the locker room due to his recent attitude. Um, signs continue. So I'm just going to get rid of him anyway because he's, he's never wrestled for us. So I don't really care if it upsets him. Um, Carl Misery, he's going because he's. I'm not even going to read it because it's just the second time he's been in trouble now. Right, Wild Ball has been brought into the wrestlers' court, accused of moaning about stuff all the time and bumming everybody out. So Johnny Keir just basically told him to stop it and buy people, buy the wrestlers' beers. Uh, automatic, save that one. Right, let's get to the good stuff now, actually booking the show. So, as always, we're going to have Blue Kane in the match. And who are we going to have him against? Uh, male. I think maybe. Mm, I think it might be too soon for Dave Mastiff. Joe Henry. 
hate that it never lets me do it first time. All right, there you go, Joe Henry. Blue Kane winner. There we go. They're not even moaning about losing to him now. That's how over he is. So that's good. Right. Um, we're going to have tag team match now. All right, so we're doing that one. Oh, no, wrong, wrong button. There we go. Um, where's, why is it, why haven't we got Morgan Webster and, and Mark Andrews as a tag team? They should be a tag team, shouldn't they? But for some reason they're not. So we're just going to put them in a tag team match for now. Who are we going to have them against? Uh, let's try these. See how they get on. BT Gun's apparently one of my best workers, so we'll soon find out. Uh, we'll just leave it as that. That'll be a good uh, post opener match to start the show. We'll do uh, still a women's tag team match actually as well. So we'll do Ginny. We'll have her and Kaylee Ray versus the Owen twins. So that's 20 minutes, see if that'll let us do that. That's fine. Um, right, we need to do some angles, don't we? So we'll do Blue Kane, uh, fighting Joe Henry, selling. Um, push that one up. Didn't mean to press that. Push that up here. And then what we'll do, we'll do another angle. We'll do Ginny and Kaylee Ray. Fight in. Fight in. And then Leah. Sell in. Um, oh God, what's her sister called again? Casey in it, yeah. Sell in. We'll do that. So that's that, that's that sorted. So, um, so we've got pre-match, sorry, post-match attacks in them angles. That sorts out the angles for us. Now we can crack on. So we'll have Joseph Connors, I think, because he hasn't wrestled for us for a while. We'll have Joseph Connors versus Dave Mastiff. Uh, we'll do that at, try 20 minutes, see how it goes. Yep, and then main event. Kenny Williams, we've got to think of a, we've got to find a good wrestler for him to wrestle now. So we go, male. Somebody preferably hasn't wrestled yet. Spike Trivet, yeah, we'll, ju we'll try Spike Trivet. Uh, heavyweight title. Unhappy? Why are you unhappy? Oh well, you'll have to deal with it. Kenny Williams is the champion for now. Right, that's that. I think I'm pretty happy with that. So let's just hold on. Let's just check this actually. Yeah. Okay. Um. Maybe protect. So we go keep strong. Spike tribute, and hopefully that'll help. There we go. He's all right with that now then. Right, let's start the show. So, yeah, so Blue Kane, and I've got 47 ratings, so that's pretty good. The angle afterwards did well. 78 rating, that's a really good rating for a tag match. I mean, Mark Andrews and Morgan Webster, I think they just need to be the tag champions from now on. Um, so, yeah, especially as I don't have tag team champions now because I got rid of Roy Knight who's part of the hooligans. So we're going to build a tag team division around them two, I think. All right, uh, the angle with the women, got 77 rating. Oh no, sorry, that was the match. I apologize, the match. The match got 77 rating. That's really good as well. This is going to be end up being a good show, I reckon. 
might, we might end up, this might end up being our best ever show rating overall because we've had a couple of 70 plus 70 over 70 rated matches already um so that's really good Ginny 83 she was in top form the angle afterwards got a 47 71 see another 70 match uh Dave Mastiff defeated Joseph Connors with a sent on bomb and then 71 for the main event, which ain't too bad. Spike Trivet was the standout performer in this match. If he was a bit more cooperative, um, because when you protect a wrestler, it kind of takes away from the match rating. So, but overall, pretty good. Now let's see how the show did overall. 69, mm, that's surprising. I thought it would do better than that. But 95 people, so we've broken our attendance record. So at least there's that. But I thought the show rating would have got a bit better than that. But it is what it is. I'm happy with that show overall. So uh, yeah, that's pretty good. Let's just wait for this to finish up and see what if there's anything that's come from it. While I'm waiting, thank you as always for following and subscribing. Um, much appreciated. I hope I hope that you're enjoying the content. Uh, let me know in the comment section if there's if you have any feedback, good or bad. If it, I don't mind being bad because I learn from it, whether it's the editing of the videos or um, my style of how I play the game. Just just let me know if you have any advice when it comes to booking. Uh, let me know as well because obviously I'm not an expert on this game. I have had it for many years, but barely barely played it, so I'm learning every time I play this game. Uh, FCP Hangover was shown last night and got less than 0.01 TV rating, so 3,394 um, with 4,207 viewers overall. I think that might be slightly up. I'll have a look offline. But yeah, no other news. Um, we've got 116, so we've lost a bit of money because of the production side of things, but I think, I think we'll be alright. I think what we'll do is uh, look at the finances next month uh, when the next show happens in 27 days So I'm just trying to figure out if there's anything I was meant to do No, right then. I'll be back in a minute then with the next part of the show right and we're back and um, Yeah, so just one thing I need to tell you about on here before I forget we just recently got a new broadcasting deal with Power Slam Wrestling Network. So these are the deals that we have in place. We have with Facebook, Watch, YouTube Britain, and YouTube Europe, where we basically uh, it's like a three month contract, and um, I think we we pay them like one thousand per show to broadcast it. And then with WX Now, we uh, WXW Now, and also now Power Slam Wrestling Network. Um, we it's not like an on-demand service, so it helps us little by little get our finances up. Um, we have one thousand five hundred and seven grand and two hundred and forty-nine. Uh, sorry, one thousand five hundred seven thousand pounds. We'll just leave it as that. We'll just put it as that. Um, so we're just oh no wrong thing. Uh, we just need to look at the finances. There you go. That's right. So in December. We made thirteen grand from performance, um, because I don't think I don't think we had a, a show at all um, in December. So we're in the second week of January. That's why we went. That's why we didn't make much in performance. Ticket sales. Um, don't know why we made money from ticket sales because I don't think we did a show. Actually, let me just have a look. This is bugging me. Show history. Uh, Two thousand twenty-five. So our last show was. Oh, sorry, I apologise, we did do a show. So why was our performance not very good then? Hmm, okay. Um, oh, probably because the cost, maybe it was to do with the cost or something, I don't know. So yeah, so we got made $855 from ticket sales, 112 from broadcast revenue, 7,371 from the sponsors, 106 from merchandise, and then the Alliance, which is getting better and better every time. We've got, we made 36,277. 
um, cost us about 11 grand in paying the wrestlers and that, uh, 3,000 pounds in the show costs, marketing was 75, merchandise was a grand. This is the big increase. The now production now uh, will now cost us 13 grand, so I think that's why that was slightly off. Um, maybe I could be wrong. Uh, and then media cost us three grand as well. So, yeah. But anyway, we've got our next show coming up, and it's called uh, Big Strong Boys. So I think the first match we need to do is a big meaty man match. I think that's what the first match needs to be to kick off the show. With, big, with, big, with Blue Kane involved, Big T Justice, and we'll get a few more in there as well, I think. So looking good, but let's see if we have any lovely flipping surprise backstage backstage incidents to deal with this time. Uh, let's do this first. So we'll do automatic selection for that. So we have got backstage incidents. We've got three of them. Doug Williams. Oh, Doug. Uh, Doug Williams has got a lot of heat with the rest of the locker room due to his recent attitude. Uh, there are no signs he could turn into. Oh, sorry. There were, there are signs that could turn into a very serious situation if not handled soon. As his employee, you now have to choose how to deal with the situation. Right, so I'm going to find him. Hopefully that will work. He's happy with it. So, right, Chris Renfrew has been antagonizing uh, Los Federos Santos Jr. so much that a fight broke out and they had to be pulled apart. So I'm going to give him a fine as well. Okay, some unhappy, some happy, but that's just how it is. Oh, great. Spike trivet again. Right, find him. Hope for the best. Spike trivet's starting to become a right pain in the butt. If he gets in another one, I'm going to have to get rid of him. If he gets in another instant. Um, right. So we're going to do a big meaty man match. Let's let's do let's do six way. I don't know. I don't know how. I don't think we've got many big meaty boys. So we go blue cane, big T justice. Uh, we'll go male. Work our way through. Let's see who else we've got. Colossus Kennedy. He can be one of the big boys. Big Dave Mastiff. There we go. He can be involved. Uh, let's keep going. We're bound to find some more in a minute. Oh, we can put him in because he's a bit of a big boy. Keep going and see what else we can find. Maybe we haven't got enough for a six way. I might have to just chuck somebody in. Oh, I'll put T-Bone in. If we, if we, let's just keep looking. Yeah, I'll put T-Bone in. He's a, he's a muscly guy. Right, there you go. So, we'll do that. And we'll do Wild Brawl. Uh, Kane, Blue Kane, sorry, as the winner. That's fine. Uh, actually, let's... Uh, Protect, keep strong, Dave Mastiff. Uh, it's furious at the bucket. Okay, protect him as well then. All right, let's try that one. There you go. He's all right with that. So that's the first match. Um, we'll do a women's match as well. So this will be an expensive show because of all the workers that we're using, but it is what it is. Right, Ginny. We'll have Kaylee. Um, Killer Kelly. She hasn't wrestled for ages for us. Uh, who else? Uh, Rhea O'Reilly. Oh, no, no. Nina Samuels. Uh, Millie McKenzie. Uh, Mariah May, maybe. 
she's not rated very well on here actually, is she more right now? We'll try, we'll put Casey in there. Right, what's that? Uh, do 20 minutes. I'll leave this um, blank and we'll go we'll let the AI assister, assisted booker, we'll let, we'll let them book the winner of that one. All right, I'll just do Ginny microphone. Um, we'll just leave it as a, we'll just leave Ginny on the mic. Um, we'll do Blue Kane attacking Dave Mastiff afterwards because we can book them in a match next show. Push that up here a bit. Right then, um, let's do a tag team match now. So we're gonna do, we're gonna, these, these, this is gonna be for our tag titles. I'm not gonna do a tournament, I'm just gonna basically pick. Um, oh, I need to add tag team before I do this. Uh, teams, right. Oh, I can't remember what they're called now. Mark, Andrews, Morgan, Morgan Webster. They have a suggested scum. Oh, so they are. They can be a tag team. But why are they not? Why didn't they come up here before? Oh, I don't know. There you go. So they are a tag team. So we got them. So we got Mark Andrews, Morgan Webster. Who are they going against then? Um, the Wave Busters. Oh, I don't know if Nathan Cruz is back yet. Actually, I'll put him in there. They'll soon tell me. Right, so that'll be that for the tag titles. Go 20 minutes. Uh, Morgan, Mark Andrews. Morgan Webster, the winner. We'll go high. High spots as well. Um, right, how long we've we done so far? Okay, so we've got two more matches we can do. So we'll do Joseph Connors versus Jody Fleisch. I think that would be a good match. Okay, we can't put it in that much that longer match, so we'll do fifteen. Now we'll do Kenny Williams. Who can we do Kenny Williams against this time? Uh, not Zapsodia. Thomas Bit. No, he's in a stable with Thomas Bit. We do Spot Trivet again. They did have a good match last time. Let's try BT Gun actually. Heavyweight title, go 20 minutes, uh, and then we'll do Kenny Williams as the victor. All right, let's just check. No, he's got the, there we go. That's, not, that's good to see. So in the big BT boy match, Blue Kane won. Um, the match got the show off to a good start. Stand up, perform, in-ring perform was uh, oh, Les Federos Santos Jr. with the 70 rating. That's pretty good. I wasn't expecting that. Uh, T-Bone did all right. Dave Mastiff did okay. But yeah, hmm, maybe he's one to push. Uh, Big T Justice is exempt from the firing, but might get rid of Colossus Kennedy. Um, maybe Tyson T-Bone as well. So we'll look. At doing that at some point. Angle afterwards got the crowd heart at 41 rating for that. The women's six way match got a 70 rating. Ginny was the standout performer and then followed by Killer Kelly. Uh, the angle afterwards did okay. Ginny was not good without a script though. 
the tag team title match. Um, Scum won, got a 71 rating. Morgan West got an 87, Mark Andrews with a 76. Um, and then Nathan Cruz with a 73, Sam Bailey being the weak link of that match. Match was a little too long given its aim. So maybe I should have done that as a 15 minute match, but still got a 71 rating, so that's not too bad. Um, Johnny, uh, Joseph Connors defeated Jody Flosh, got a 61 rating. And then the main event, Kenny Williams defeated BT Gunn. He's now made defense 18 of his Fight Club Pro heavyweight title. Only got a 66 rating. Uh, BT Gunn didn't perform very well, but we managed to increase the popularity in 32 regions. So that um, that addition to adding ourselves to that Power Slam Networks really helped us. Um, we got a 64 rating for that. We got 100 people in attendance. Woohoo! Happy days. Look at that. That's really good to see that. There's 100 people increased by eight. No, seven. We have seven more people from the, the last show we did. 32 regions. We've, we're now starting to build. Um, our reach around the country and abroad. Uh, Big T Justice has said that Shane Purse has charisma. He has a lot of upside. And then Strong Boys viewership figures. We managed to get a 0.01 TV rating with 1,950 viewers and 6,375 viewers overall. So we are increasing nicely there. Um, 128 grand in the bank. Um, 4% prestige and 58 momentum. So that is a good way to end the episode. Um, but yeah, thank you to everyone who's been watching and supporting me. The next episode of the TW Fight Club Pro show um, series. Sorry, I've been talking for the last three hours. My brain's not thinking properly. Um, yeah, so the next episode will be on Thursday, so it's, it's usually going to be Thursdays and Sundays on YouTube, so keep on track with that. And uh, if you haven't watched the series from the start, I recommend that you do because it's a really fun series in what I've been doing, trying to build the recreated Fight Club Pro into a global phenomenon. So join in the journey. And uh, on that note, I'm going to leave you to it. But thank you as always. Uh, if you haven't already, subscribe, leave a comment, like the video. And have a nice rest of your Sunday. Bye.